Hello everyone, I'm Marina and that's a Cornell School. It is a complex case today. No comments, you'd better see it first. Here are today's nails. When I first saw them, I thought that it was Koilonikia, or spoon nails. I planned to do a nail extension to completely transform them. But my model warned me that on the middle nail there is mycosis or fungus. So I wanted to keep it as it is. Then I decided to take a closer look, take macro shots, and I saw that the nails were peeling badly. Some of them were slightly yellowish. And the nail on the index finger peeled off completely. So no nail extension. I can only clean up and polish all of the peelings. And then my model needs to consult a pathologist or a mycologist. As it turned out, my model was born with such a peeling nail structure. She got it from her grandmother. I'm sure you wonder why she did not consult a doctor or a pathologist earlier. The thing is that she did consult a dermatologist in her town, but he couldn't do anything about it and told her that she had to live with such nails. He prescribed her some nail vitamins only. So my model had to live without learning about her diagnosis. This particular nail condition is called tracheonychia, when the nails are thin, spoon-like, without a lunula. And the nail surface is rough like sandpaper. Due to all of the liftings and peelings, the nail plate is subject to mycosis. That's exactly the case here. What can we do? We can round up the free edge, remove the peelings with a diamond drill bit to make sure that they don't scratch anything since it's really painful. My model told me that when her nails got caught somewhere, that was super painful and some of the nails used to bleed. To transform these nails as much as I can, I will do a manicure, using a safe drill bit so as not to cut the skin. This drill bit lifts up the cuticle well, removes the pterygium and even some of the peeled off parts. Then I will cut off the cuticle with nippers. Here's how my model learned that she had mycosis. Her middle nail hurt, so she decided to go to a local clinic where she was tested and it turned out that she had mycosis. She got special treatment and started using it. I guess it didn't help her much. Just dried up the skin around the nail even more, so that it cracked. So always make sure to consult a doctor before starting treatment since various components act differently and you can't be 100% sure that the treatment you have chosen will help. It's very important to treat mycosis, since it may get from one nail to another one, and move on to the feet as well. Your relatives may also catch it by sharing a bathroom with you, or a mat in the bathroom, or a bed inset. I decided to use a cone-shaped diamond drill bit to remove all of the peeled off nail scales in order to smooth out the nail plate. Make sure to work at the low speed so as not to hit up the surface. If you like dealing with such complex cases, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of such content on my channel. I know that many nail techs refuse to work with such clients. They send them to doctors. But I think it's great if a nail tech can deal with such complex nails and can help a client a little bit at least. To slightly ease the pain. Of course, we don't have to do it. It's not then the nail tech's competence. But we can at least smooth out the nail surface. Now I mat the surface with a soft buffer to smooth it out even more. Now I can cut off the cuticle. Make sure to work carefully so as not to injure the skin. To avoid inflammation. Actually, there are many types of nail plate dystrophy and a good nail tech needs to know them all. Though we can't diagnose the clients, or guess whether it's mycosis or not by photos. Only a doctor can do all of this by testing the nails first. Now 
Now I apply some antifungal oil. Using a manicure disc and a special soft abrasive, I polish the cuticle and the nail plate. This way all the nail scales get sealed. I wipe off the oil leftovers and the nails look completely different already. Now we'll proceed with the fungus cleanup. That is a must. To make sure that the dead skin cells couldn't get in the way of the further fungus treatment. I'm using a diamond drill bit. It's a blue rounded cylinder. I move downwards, not upwards, so as not to lift up the nail scales even more. I watch my model's reaction. Make sure that it doesn't burn or hurt. Just check in. I clean it up as much as I can. There is a natural nail part near the cuticle, so I'm sure that with proper treatment, the nail plate will restore completely. There is no need to mention that we need to wear protective clothes. A long sleeve robe, a mask, and gloves. After the client, we must disinfect all of the surfaces. Sterilize all of the manicure tools and materials. And here's how to take off the gloves correctly. We pull it up like this, that's one, and then pull the other one and wrap it around the first glove to keep the dust in. Unfortunately, we couldn't do a total transformation this time. It's sad, but there are many other nail transformation videos on my channel. For example, the one where I extended short feet and nails. So make sure to check it out too, to learn how to work with such nails. I wish you all success in your work. Bye-bye!